In this demo, we will be looking at Salesforce and Power Apps integration. We use Power Platform Premium Connector to connect to the Salesforce instance seamlessly. Hardly any code is required to do the integration part. Plus, there is a value-added business incentive in terms of integrating this app with Teams and Outlook for workflow and approvals. The integration design patterns follows secure and scalable principle, particularly useful when you have Salesforce as your backend system, but you would need the data to flow through other productivity tools such as Outlook, Teams, and SharePoint, and Power BI. With Power Platform, you could meet those business needs without development. All you need is a bit of configuration and the Power Platform connector. The solution components used in this demo are Salesforce Premium Connector, Power Apps, Teams and Outlook, and Power BI. Let's look at the demo and see how it all flows together. This is a Power App that was built, which shows you the connectivity between Salesforce and Power Apps. And I would also log into Salesforce so that we could see the real-time integration between Power Platform and Salesforce. And this is my live production Salesforce instance. And let's switch back to the Power App. And within Power App, I'm providing three various options here. One is a user can look into the cases and log a new case, and also managing the leads and contacts and accounts. Now, it's only a reference sample demo. You could obviously connect to every other data that's within Salesforce using the same principle. If I click on case lookup, it will drop down all the cases that's available in Salesforce. We can have a look at that as well. If I come here, I click on cases on Salesforce. These are the stuff that you would see here in Power Apps, as you can see here, right? Now, you could interact with Salesforce just within the Power Apps, and you could embed this Power App in Teams and Outlook and SharePoint as well, so you don't have to switch multiple screens. Now, if you want to create a new case, we could do that as well within the Power App. So I'm going to key in some demo data. and click on save. So now what happens is that particular case would have been created, and this is the one that we just entered, and that would go into Salesforce. However, we are bringing in the productivity tools, which you already may have, which is Outlook and Teams, and we wanted to make sure the, the data goes in to the Salesforce instance post approval. So I also have Teams approval. So as you can see here, the email has just come in, which says a new case has been created. Do you want to approve, acknowledge, or archive? So that's one part of the workflow approval using the Office 365. Plus, if I go into Teams and then the channel, I would get a notification saying a new case has been created in Salesforce. Now we can go into Salesforce and see if this has been really created. All I have to do here is refresh. And you see at the top, the new one, which we just created with this text, and that's available as well. So we just used Power Apps, as you can see here, and then 
we use the premium connector to upload the data into Salesforce and you would get all the details that you typed in there. Plus you could actually go ahead and input any other data that is required. That's totally possible. I just want to show you the sample how a case management can be automated using Power Apps. Now using the same design principle, we would also see how we could manage the leads as well uh, because case management is only part of the thing and we wanted to see how a lead management works together as well. So this is a data form which comes from Salesforce on account management. And if you're a seller and if you're using Salesforce, you would know that this is where you would come and start creating accounts and leads and stuff like that. So what we will do now is we would go back and we will create a new lead, which would get into Salesforce. So you get an alert saying a new lead has been created in Salesforce and that's available right away here in the Power App. This is the one um, that we created. Now, if we can, you know, you could make changes and updates and stuff like that. And we are using the same workflow principle for uh, for this lead creation as well, where it would go into Outlook and Teams. Um, the Power Automated workflow would trigger those inputs and it would capture those inputs as well. And if I go to Salesforce, click on Accounts, click on All Accounts, and then Refresh. We'll wait for the workflow to trigger. Okay. Um, a new lead has been created in Salesforce. So you would also get an alert in Outlook to get approved. And once it's approved, the data would flow into Salesforce. I just want to show you that it's not pre-created. And uh, you give it a few seconds and uh, you would see that coming into Salesforce. So now we have approved that in Teams and we approved that in Outlook and it is available in Power App and the data just needs to get into Salesforce, which it has. As you can see, this is the one that we just created and all those details are available in here. Carol Shelby Mustang Cobra, that's what we created here. So that is an, another way of uh, working with Salesforce automatically using Power Platform, Power Apps, Power Automate, Outlook, and Teams integration. Now there's only two of these capabilities that I've showcased. Of course, you would have option to integrate anything that you want from Salesforce that you wanted to display it in Power BI, Power Apps, Outlook, and stuff like that is totally possible. And the Salesforce assistant would also pick that here, as you can see, it would it would give you the notification saying a new lead has been created uh, and stuff like that. So just want to showcase the seamless integration capabilities that Microsoft Power Platform offers for you to interact with other third-party solutions, not only Salesforce, it could be Oracle, there's an, another demo on Jira integration that I did. It could be SAP, it could be on-prem backend systems, policy systems, payment systems, or anything that for that matter. 
there are connectors that helps you to build those integrated app pretty quickly and it wouldn't take months and months it's probably days to weeks time that you could go into the production i hope this was insightful thank you